morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Song. My name is Dave Peters. This is my wife, Elizabeth, and we go by the, the name The Now Billies. We're from Knoxville, Tennessee, although I lived in Brasstown for 25 years. When I moved here and raised my kids, the folk school meant everything to me, and it still does. I honed my skills on the ukulele in a class by Peter Thomas from Santa Cruz, California, and I built Elizabeth's tubatone bass in a class by Jack Smoot, and he'll be teaching tubatone, or he'll be reconstructing tubatones in early December. When you live here, you kind of take the folk school for granted, and one thing about the pandemic, it's, it's led us all to realize that life's a lot more fragile than we thought it was, and we need to really take care of our, our friends and the places that mean something to us. I was on the board of directors here and I've volunteered and played music here. And Elizabeth and I donate to the folk school regularly. Uh, we're excited about the music and dance endowment started by Celia Larson, who's a good friend and a, and a board member. And I hope that you'll consider donating to the folk school too. It's reaching its 100th anniversary in a short time and we need to make sure it's financially strong for the next hundred years so that generations to come can enjoy the artistic inspiration, togetherness and collaboration that the folk school offers all of us. First song we're going to do is one I wrote a long time ago and it's about an event that takes place in Brasstown around November 15th that doesn't get the attention it deserves. It's when the frost kills the kudzu. Here's a story that'll shut your mouth. It's about the vine that ate the south. Looks like ivy or some wild grape Sticks to trees like green scotch tape How it spreads, Lord, almost a crime Lucky it dies back in the winter time And when the frost has killed the kudzu How be coming home to you When the frost has killed the kudzu I'll be coming home to you. The kudzu vine, it's stubborn and free. Covers the land, covers all the trees. It spreads itself both near and far. And I can't find my house of car. So I'm going north where it don't grow. But I'll be back when it finally snows. When the frost has killed the kudzu, I'll be coming home to you. Summertime, kudzu grows wild. When the air is moist, temperature is mild. The winter time, it all dies down. Exposed junk wash machines lying on the ground. You think it's gone, but never fear. That cuts you fine, be back next year. And when the frost has killed the cuts, I'll be coming home to you. I started cooking during the pandemic and my daughter got really excited and sent me one of those Instapot pressure cookers. 
And the first thing I cooked was a pot roast. And Elizabeth was so excited about me cooking that she didn't mind eating that pressure-cooked pot roast off of the kitchen ceiling. <laughs> hey, look, honey. It's done just the way you like it. Well, I cooked for about five more days, and Elizabeth was complimentary. And finally she said, you know, it might be best if we say the prayer after the meal is over. <laughs> Even my grandkids got into the act. I cooked them alphabet soup and they both spelled help in their bowls. <laughs> well, all this talk about food makes me think about a song written by David Rose, who was the folklorist here for a long time. I'm sure you that have been at the folk school before know David Rose. He was a real character, a wonderful musician, a humorist, and he was perpetually dapper. I mean, he, he wore ties and polished shoes and start shirts all the time and anyway he wrote this song and i always liked it we played in a band together for a long time uh, and it's called the bunny rabbit blues well it's saturday on shooting creek and i'm walking out the door gonna drive on into hayesville tell some jokes at tiger store well, I've stopped into that butcher shop just where the town square ends to see if they've got rabbit or some other furry friends. My grandpa was a German dressed out rabbits through and through. Then he'd take them home to grandma who made Haas and Pfeffer stew. To teach my kid his heritage, I brought that rabbit home. I splayed it out, I carved it up, took the meat right off the bone. My kid don't think it's funny, I just stood up old Bugs Bunny. Combined it with some onion, sage and pepper made it nice. But my kid who is a vegan Through the kitchen door was peeking Now they got me eating tofu And that damned organic rice So I climbed into my Buick And I parked it by the creek Filled it full of junk food, enough to last a week. Got some cream chip beef and Fritos, some hot dogs and a ham. I won't be reconstructed, cause I just don't give a damn. My kid don't think it's funny, I just stood up old Bugs Bunny. Browned it in some bacon fat and marinated spam. Gonna impress my best girl with the frequency of squirrel. And just like old Papa, I am just what I am. Just like old David Rose, I am just what I am. I bought one of those smart televisions, and the oddest thing happened when I hooked it up. C-SPAN bled into the home shopping network, and I bought a congressman. <laughs> I also bought one of those universal remotes, and after I programmed it and tried it for the first time, I said to Elizabeth, this universal remote changes everything. Well, those are the kind of jokes that David Brose would tell at Morning Song, and he almost always did this song that I wrote, and it's called Bottled Water Tears. Okay. 
self-proclaimed earth mother, healers can't be beat. And vegetarian Reiki trained midwives are a treat. When the psychic Sufi priestess left my aura turned bright blue, I cried boggled water tears over you. Bottled water tears run down my cheeks. I can no longer stand the sight of whole wheat. I miss your Tai Chi and aromatherapy. I cried bottled water tears over you. It was you and me and the little baby at home. Till the planets lined up and you took it as a signal to roam. And now my eyes like blurry skies are foggy from crying. How I wish you were born underneath another cyan. Bottled water tears run down my cheeks. I've been on a fast for almost four weeks. I re-experienced my birth trauma in our search for the Dalai Lama. I cried bottled water tears over you. You told me goodbye at your sacred spot. You were beaten on a drum, sitting lotus style on a rock. Your tarot reading told me what I knew all along. Pyramids and acupuncture will never bring you home. Bottled water tears run down my cheeks. I can no longer stand the taste of green tea. I miss tattoos on your extremities and your homeopathic remedies. I cried bottled water tears over you. I miss power crystals from the earth and your perpetual rebirth. I miss horoscopes from astrology and diagnostic iridology. I miss paranormal prognostications from cosmic energy field vibrations. And I miss your Taoist way in decorating with Feng Shui. I miss yoga poses with animal names and Chinese herbs of unfounded claims. I miss the way you did Pilates while I sat and drank my toddies. I miss the sky blue color of your skin when you took colonial silver again and again. And I miss the way you cleansed your colon when you thought your feet were swollen. Bottled water tears run down my cheeks. I can no longer stand the sight of whole wheat. I miss the way you played Sinatra when you realigned my chakras. I cried bottled water tears over you. Bottled water tears over you. Bottled water tears over you. Yodelay. Elizabeth's father was one of the founding members of the Smoky Mountain Hiking Club and he told me that when they would leave Knoxville they would ride in the back of a pickup truck to the hikes in the Smoky Mountains and they would sing folk songs the whole time and they never repeated a song. And Elizabeth is going to do a song she learned from her father called Careless Love.
And I thought to myself, now that's a job I could see myself doing. <laughs> this next song we're going to do is a classic jazz song that was written by Leo Wood back in 1918. And it's called, Somebody Stole My Gal. You ready, Miss Elizabeth? Well, somebody stole my gal. Somebody stole my little pal Somebody came and took her away She didn't even say she was leaving The kisses I love so He's getting now, I know And gee, I know that she would come to me If she could see her broken heart and lonesome pal Somebody stole my gal Here we go! Santa Cruz, California, and I ended up taking the class so many times that he decided I'd be a co-instructor on his class. And it was just really exciting when the folk school just reopened. We had a great class. Part of what we did was write songs, and I'm going to end 
with a song that we wrote in class. There were two of them that were or done that were fine songs, but this is the one we're going to do today, and it's called Folk School Band. Yahoo, we're feeling fine. Clouds are lifting, we can see the light. COVID 19 didn't take us down. Now we're folk school bound. Cause the place is open and ready to roll. Made some changes, got it under control. Staring at each other through plexiglass walls. Still a folk school spirit unites us all. Yahoo, we're feeling fine. Clouds are lifting, we can see the light. COVID 19 didn't take us down. Now we're folk school bound. It's reasonable to wear a mask, but I must say it's an arduous task. Our paths may have crossed a long time ago, but with these masks we'll never know. Yahoo, we're feeling fine. Clouds are lifting, we can see the light. COVID 19 didn't take us down. Now we're folk school bound. strong going into the next hundred years and stay safe and stay well. Thank you. More than now, Billy. <laughs>